We're going to start off with the calligraphic and bristle brushes. Uh, they're the easiest to use and the easiest to explain. When you first launch Illustrator and open your brush panel, you may only see these brushes here. It doesn't look like very many. But to find maybe some bristle brushes, you could go into the bristle brush library. And then as you click the various brushes over here, you'll see that your brush panel starts to expand to accommodate those new brushes. And here's how they work. Up here at the very top are your most basic brushes. They're just basically shapes. You choose a color, you pick, click the brush tool, and you paint. That's all there is to it. You can double click a brush, and you can change its width, its diameter, its roundness. You can drag it to change how the brush is going to work. Or you can make a new brush by clicking the new thingy button. Decide to make a calligraphic brush and start from scratch. We'll make it thicker, really thick. There you go, too, way too thick. I click OK and it shows up right here. I can click it and use it. <coughs> now, your bristle brushes are very similar. I'm going to delete these. <coughs> Except it, it's kind of like they have a a pattern to them. It's almost like they're gradiated around the edges and they're nice and smooth, they're beautiful. Uh, very easy to use and you can just you can see they have different paint brush edges and again you can double click one and play around with size, length, density, thickness paint, opacity, stiffness, and uh, very straightforward, very fun brushes.